Hey guys, been here. Um, today let's continue continue this exercise. So yesterday we modeled this uh, this wall using adaptive family. Okay, so today uh, we're going to model the. We are adding the, these detail in into it. So uh, as I said yesterday. Uh, if this is a pr real project, I won't use it. I won't do. I won't model these details. But uh, if it's uh, maybe some like competition or some uh, project for the school, uh, I probably will. So now, in this, in this, uh, in this family, tab select one of this family. Uh, panel edit family okay so first first I'm going to tab select this solid and then get rid of the material so yeah. now oh oh actually 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 I'm just I'll just delete it sorry I just delete this mess and I'm going to so pick this one reference on divide path and so say I can just type in a uh, number so if you, if you want to you can create a, a, a number parameter here so but uh, I think I'll just use 8 for this one so in the same divide path 8 yep so that should be enough and then I'm going to create a new adaptive family generic model adaptive and open so in this family i'm going to go to the front view place some point and i'll just place it on from back um, one and i'll just copy it and also copy it down okay so that three points make adaptive okay so go to 3d view so now I have one, two, three. Um, I'm going to create a shape use these three points. Okay, so first set a draw point, draw on work plan, set work plan, pick this uh, pick pick the work this work plan and place it on point. So now I go back another one, place and go to the front. So this will be the this will be um, half thickness. Okay, so I'll create a parameter. Let me call it a uh, half thickness. Instance. Um, actually, type is fine. I think. Uh, yeah, just instance. And this one will be negative half so I'll just call it half thickness n okay and then go to family types equals half thickness apply oh sorry negative okay so now we have these two points and the re we need to uh, just repeat so place it here, and then drag back. Will be the uh, positive one. Another point. Draw a work plan. Set work plan. Place point. Drag it to the front, and then this will be negative half thickness. So now we have this shape top. This will be the um, profile. So we're doing some um, loft. Okay, so the top, I'll just connect this point to create spline, and the, um, this will give us this will give us the profile. Okay, so yeah, this one. So this is the top top. Uh, profile, yeah. And the reason I have the point three is I'm going to go to front view, 
and dimension dimension the horizontal work plan of point one and point three. So I and then we will create a heart. So this will be a reporting par parameter and OK. And then I'm going to uh, have the lower profile. OK, so if you look at this single um, element here, so it's not a, uh, hang on, let me, is there a other image? Yeah, um, it's not a box. OK, so it looks like it's, uh, we, we look at here, see it's, there's an offset. So here's what we're going to do. So um, connect one and two, spline, reference line, and then we are going to place a point draw on face on this reference line and we will have an offset okay so change select this point change this to segment length and create a offset 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 um, instance okay offset and uh, this one as well segment then but this time change big change the uh, measure from to end and then associate with offset as well and so we have these two points and then put draw on point draw on work plan set work plan pick the horizontal work plan and place it on this point and then drag this down and this offset will equal the height, equals this reporting parameter. So if say that this will follow this, okay. So and place another one, set the horizontal work plane of this point, place it on this point, and then drag this down and associate with this height. So now we have a uh, these two points and uh, I'm going to place point draw a work plan set work plan place it here and place it on the point so now I, I, I drag this to here so this this time the thickness we need to we need to um, create a new thickness for here this will uh, we need to minus offset actually if i go to i'll change the offset a little bit like make it smaller okay see and then so this point i'll create a new half thickness but this time half thickness minus uh offset instance okay okay so go to family types so this time equals of course equals half thickness minus offset okay so apply okay and uh, place another point draw on work plan set work plan vertical work plan place it on the point okay and then drag it this way and create a new this time is half thickness minus offset negative okay so uh, instance okay and okay so go to family types uh, I'll just copy this and equal negative control V and okay so now we have these two points so we just need another two points here okay so draw on work plan pick this point place it okay hang on let me temporarily hide this point okay and then drag it here so this one will be 
half half thickness minus offset another point set place it and uh, this way this will be this one so now if I select these two spline select these two spline select these two spline and select these two spline then select all of them reference line so now we have these two profiles and then we can create form so this will be the single element uh, here one okay so now let's place this into um, this so this is family 10 so what's this one family 12 load into family 10 okay so what we need to do is place on face so pick on the no one two and three so this will automatically create this uh, if I go to front so oh, this should uh, hang on let me just check I'll just do a repeat okay so you can see uh, looks like it's not right looks like this is not right let's have a look we'll see what's going on edit family and go to the front so one two three I'll just go to the front again so this is a reporting parameter looks like it's not working properly mm. let me check check uh, all the always vertical see if it works yep cool interesting so yeah after I check the always vertical in this thing this family and then it works but yeah I don't know why um, okay so so now we have this and uh, let me think hang on so I'll, I'll leave these parameters here I, I'm not going to associate or create a new parameter to I'll, I'll just link I'll just load this family into into the other one into this one and see if it, work, it, it works so load this into to hell what's the name okay this one load into this and overwrite yeah this might take a little bit time because that's uh hundreds of family almost there cool so yeah so looks okay I think yeah the gap is a little bit big <laughs> so let's have a look see if we can adjust them because previously we create a gap parameter so let me try to um, tab select, select select one of them and select all SA and that's a gap 100 gap and I'll, I'll see if I change that to zero and uh, let's see if it will make it look more like this one so that's quite small gap there's still gap yeah but it's quite small see this
Yep. Yeah, I think it's it's close enough. Um, yeah, it's close enough. If if you want to, you can just to make the gap even like a negative. So try to um, close the gap a little bit. But I think it's it's quite good. What do you think? So if I zoom in, and uh, you can see the details, right? So if I, I'll just to quickly do another one. So if we want to do another wall there, so just reference I, and uh, draw a um, house set we plan. I'll place it on level one, and just do another with my spline. spline. Yep, we'll do another spline and create a form and uh, and the device surface and five maybe maybe uh, 20 and uh, nodes and then you can create component so one 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 of them let's place on face one uh, Two oh hell one two here and three and uh, another one one oh no 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 sorry not here another one um from here one. Two, three, and then you can select one. Then repeat. And select the other one. Repeat. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so if you have any question, let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.